Greetings, students of the Force and slaves of the dark side, and welcome back to the embrace of the channel. I have been expecting you. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is one of the greatest pieces of Lego Star Wars content and Star Wars content overall to ever grace us in the modern world, encapsulating all of the nine installments of the Star Wars Saga, as well as including DLC packs from the various shows that have in inhabited this great and vast world. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is a game that will not be forgotten for many generations, as is the legend of the Jedi and Sith. However, speaking of the Sith and Dark Side of the Depths, today we shall be delving into the ranking all of the Sith characters or Dark Side of Depths that it plagued the world of Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga and the galaxy of Lego Star Wars. Number 9, we have Sith-Eyed Anakin, also known as the barbecued version from the events of Mustafar. For this, I had to play Battle of the Heroes and watch Revenge of the Sith for about 97 times before I got the full scope of this duel. This duel is incredible and is one of my favourite levels in the Skywalker Saga. Sith-Eyed Anakin, while not having a separate skill set from original Anakin, is still very adept and it would not make sense for him to have Anakin in this level without his Sith eyes. It also has his barbecue version, showing how he was maimed and burnt by the fires of Mustafar and his Jedi Master and former best friend, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Overall, this is a solid character with an incredible skill set, combining the Force and lightsaber combat into devastating power strides. Coming in at the number 8 position, we have Kylo Ren, and yes, I know what you're going to say, I'm a traitor! And yes, you don't have to scream it in the chat, I already know. Now, Kylo Ren does have incredible slam attacks, as I'm sure many of you would know. Kylo Ren is an exceptionally powerful person in Star Wars, and in Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, it is no different, with Kylo Ren being the main antagonist of the sequel trilogy, he appears in many episodes and levels throughout the Skywalker Saga. His skill set in this game is very similar to him in the movies, being enraged and fueled up on the anger and hatred of the dark side fuels him. Severely makes his playthrough experience a lot more exhilarating and thrilling to behold, but he cannot match up to the Master of Fate. Okay, for this one I had to play Duel of the Fates, and trust me, it was so loud my parents had to come and get very annoyed at me. Trust me, you don't want to do that. Don't become a YouTuber. Actually, that was sarcasm. Do become a YouTuber. You waste so much of your time. It's hilarious. So we have Darth Maul. Darth Maul is one of the most recognisable villains in all of cinema for his Zabrak attire. Being the first apprentice of Sheev Palpatine, you can throw your double-bladed lightsaber around effortlessly in order to devastate opponents with a unique skill set that is only replicated by other double-bladed lightsaber wielders. Darth Maul has two skin styles, with one without his hood and one with it, exposing his Zabrak horns, crescent upon his hair. Darth Maul is an exhilarating playthrough character and one of my favourites in all of this game. But he cannot match up to the malice of his maker and meticulous power that Sheev Palpatine, the Senator, commands. Also known as the Senate, am I not going to lie. Sheev Palpatine is the main antagonist of the Skywalker saga and cannot be forgotten easily. Palpatine is noted and has many styles, including his senator outfit, his scarred face, his supreme chancellor outfit, and finally his invisible hand outfit, where he was freed by Anakin and Obi-Wan from the embrace of General Grievous and Dooku. Palpatine has a unique skill set and can also use his force lighting in a chain-linked attack, which is very, very immensely powerful. But it is not, in my opinion, the most devastating force lightning to plague this list. Coming in next, we have the granddaughter of Emperor Palpatine himself, in that dark side ray. Now, of course, I prefer Palpatine and more, and essentially everybody else, to Dark Side Ray, but I'm not gonna lie, Dark Side Ray is the most powerful character in this game, 
When you throw her uniquely curved double bladed lightsaber, it absolutely demolishes, dealing upwards of 50 damage each strike, possibly a limited number of 25. She also has priceless dialogue with Kylo Ren and many other dark side adepts, including Palpatine. Her lightsaber is very unique and she can throw it using a chain link attack in order to absolutely devastate any garrison of opponents that oppose her in the battlefield and overall is an exceptionally well built character with a unique skill set. However, here we have the man, the myth himself, Darth Vader. Darth Vader is possibly the most well recognised villain in all of cinema history being present in the first six of all the Star Wars movies and his legacy living on into the sequels. Darth Vader was most prominently utilised during the duel on Bespin and Duel in the Emperor's Throne Room, which I have done an analysis on in the past. Darth Vader has unique and brutal skill set, and while he should be in number one if we're going on most like, his skill set is lacking, as he is very slow and is powerful, relying on power strikes to dominate his enemies like he is in the films and TV shows. Nevertheless, Darth Vader remains tyrannical and incredible in his skill set and abilities. Coming in and just beating him, we have the Count, and oh boy, I've been looking forward to this, as we have Count Dooku, the Count of Sereno, and the Supreme Commander of the Confederacy of the Independent Systems, the leader of the Separatists, and the second apprentice to Sheev Palpatine in Star Wars lore. Dooku was most noted with his curved lightsaber hilt, which possesses a unique attack style that you can play for yourself after unlocking him. Dooku can also use Force Lightning, which is much more powerful than nearly any other Force Lightning on this list, minus one being who we will get into later. Dooku can jump up in the air and unleash a volley of lightning down on the intended target, dealing catastrophic amounts of damage to his intended opponent. Dooku is immensely skilled, but cannot match up to the next being we have on this list. Just shy of the number one position, we have Supreme Leader Snoke. While he might have been a mishap and a disappointment in the sequel trilogy, Snoke has a wide variety of unique abilities. With not possessing a lightsaber, he has no ranged attacks, but he can jump up the air and upon pressing your attack key, as you would normally use with a lightsaber, he will unleash a ball of force lightning that will use a splash radius of attacks that will incapacitate an opponent. He also, if you jump up in the air and use your force base key, he will unleash two volleys of force lightning down onto the ground that explodes in a radius of dark side power and a plethora of his powers and abilities. Snoke is an incredible character and possesses unquestionably the most powerful force lightning to plague and torment this list. However, Snoke matches pales in comparison to the wrath of his master, Emperor Sheev Palpatine. The main antagonist of the Skywalker saga, the Emperor possesses a unique skill set, with his lightsaber of a crimson coloration being devastating, being able to tear through beings and objects effortlessly easily. He also can use Force Lightning, utilising your Force Key, and upon jumping into the air, Upon pressing your key that you use to activate the force, he will cause a ripple to excavate itself within the ground, causing force lightning to spark in tendrils that will cause a plethora of strikes to emerge from the ground. This is an immensely powerful ability and ultimately, in my opinion, makes Palpatine prevail over his clone and his faculty in snow. The Emperor, once again, takes the title of greatest character on this list. Well, my friends, tell me what you thought of my list, and tell me if you have explored all the planets in the Skywalker Saga. I have not yet, but soon I will, and will make an exploration of all the planets, ranking them in a coordinated tier list, utilising the Force and Alchemy to enhance your viewing experience. I assure you, before we leave, I will instruct you to hit the subscribe button and smash like if you wish to ascend to the rank of a Jedi Master. That'll be all acolytes, and I'll see you dwelling in the galaxy far, far away.